Fugue. What do you want to do? No. No. Alright, well, I could put my grass type out front, but my grass type just basically carried me through another gym, like, not too long ago, so... Not gonna be doing that right now. I'm going to be relying on someone else for a little bit. Um... Scissor, if it does come down to it, Scissor. Scyther does have Cut, and Cut is super effective on ground, but, um... Yeah, I'll take a free fresh water. Um... I kind of don't want to risk, like, everything having Stone Ed or Rock Slide or something like that. Um, as I was saying, I seem to remember something about a lot of this gym having a Sandstorm gimmick. We'll see how that goes. Why does a random Geodude have a punching move? That's a move tutor. A little bit excessive, no? Anyway, uh, this is a fairly interesting uh, type of gym. I don't know if I'm really going to bother to explain everything, but uh, basically, you have to navigate a maze uh, made of these platforms and conveyor belts and stuff like that. Sometimes you'll find a platform like this, which you can talk to, and you can kind of go up and to get a good view of uh, a couple uh, things around you, but. It's not really helpful. I kind of think it's better to just traverse the whole area and see what you find. Yes, that's basically what I just said about the elevator platform things. There's another one. I haven't run into a trainer in a couple platforms now. Um, this. Still no trainer. Still no trainer. Still no trainer. Still no trainer. This is a big area. Oh, there's one. Alright. So that was nice for experience, but other than that, it's just a dead end. <clears throat> Alright, Repel's effect or off? No, I don't think so. Did it really last that long? It's pretty long last in Repel. Um, anything this way? I think this is like a crossroads. It's kind of like the midpoint in the gym uh, for exploring it, because I think if you go this way, it'll go back to, um, yeah, this is the kind of part where it was before. And I would like to go and examine the rest of these platforms because they might have trainers on them, which might be a good thing. Come on. I like this design, it's just really big. And navigating it typically takes a really long time.
All right, let's see. I totally did not necessarily put down the game and uh, come back a day later. Anyway, I think I'm done with this bottom section of this, uh, this gym now, but I'm not sure. I don't know, hmm, I don't recognize this uh, platform, this one that goes underneath me right now. I guess I'll find out where that goes later on. Uh, oh, you know what? I said a little while ago I think that these are kind of useless, but I might as well just uh, jump on uh, this to see where it leads me. Um, I want to say, if I remember, I want to say this one goes to the leader, and this one will go to, like it'll loop around down at the bottom and go to the leader. I want to say I'm not necessarily missing anything yet. Uh, anyway. Let's see. More fights? A lot of these platforms don't have fights on them. Um, they're just... They're just kind of there. A lot of these platforms don't have fights on them. Thank you. I don't know if the sheer force ability actually affects Psycho Cut, because I think increased critical hit ratio is counted as a primary effect uh, of a move. But I'm not sure. That will be something worth looking up later on for me. Anyway, oh look, a longer one of these fancy conveyor belts. Uh, what about this one? I want to say that at the end of this path there is a trainer, but I don't know. That's a very random like thing to remember about a gym, but it looks like it's uh, not incorrect. If you're a ground type, why would you use Stone Edge on a fighting type? If you're a ground rock type, why would you use Fire Punch on a fire type? Oh my god, the AI in these trainer battles is amazing. I'm going to just revive Ankle with uh, regular items instead of um, like going back to the Pokemon Center, because I really don't feel like having to navigate this place again. Um, anyway, I think I'm almost done. Uh, with this area here and yeah as i was saying earlier i'm pretty sure this will lead me to the gym leader so i'm not going to go there quite yet um i think there should be like one more or two more trainers to fight in here because there's a uh... see there's this place this platform and there's this platform hello please don't use explosion on me Oh boy, yes, darkness is great, whatever. Um, is this it? I think this is it. Probably should go back to the Pokemon Center. Just so that I can get, like, my power points back and stuff. I'm gonna go do that, be right back. Alright, gone and done that. I have returned for some reason. I also seem to remember this gym battle being a double battle. I don't know why that would be. Um, so I'll find out in a minute, I guess. Should I save? I'll save just in case. I have a backup of my save file, so if this recording goes down for whatever reason, I'll be able to recover it. Um, please save faster. Alright, there we go. I'm used to, like, the Gen 6 games that save in, like, a half an instant, but... Alright, Sand Team, Ground Types, let's go. 
I kind of hope this is a double battle because uh, I like my double battles. They tend to go a little faster, but we'll see. Leader Clay has five Pokemon, <coughs> and he's sending out Grigal, so this is a single. I'm down to 54 of these already. Anyway, all right, let's go. You can be elevated a level. I'll bring everybody up to 43. I won't do anything for Ankle. Two, three, I mean, uh, two. Now it's 43. All right, Dark Pulse, hmm, Dark Pulse. Kinda like that. Fortunately, I don't get to see your physical special stats, but I'm gonna get rid of Bite. Uh, both these moves have a chance to flinch. Dark Pulse is a little stronger, and I think Houndoom kind of tends towards a uh, special attack. We'll see. Uh, Pancreas, 42, 43. And liver 43. All right. Uh, that's enough of that. I'm down to 46 for our candies. I'm also going to go and throw out liver into the leadoff spot. Um, just so I can set up a, a leech seed and avoid the intimidate on uh, what's his face, that crocodile. Uh, we'll see. If I can kind of slow down the battle at the beginning a little bit, it might help me gain momentum towards the end. Um, like switching in a. As someone with Trace, Trace can intimidate, that sort of thing, we'll see. Um, Liver. Alright, Liver. So, my attack is gonna drop, that doesn't really matter. Oh, my attack isn't actually gonna drop, thanks to that, uh, that one, uh, ability I have. Anyway, Leech Seed. Uh, believe it or not, I don't want to KO this thing, because I think Crocodile is one of the more, one of the less, rather, intimidating things on his team. Um, ooh, instead of, <laughs> nice. Especially now, am I gonna be able to get off? A superior sweep thanks to this. Uh, anyways, I was saying, if I'm able to get you to, um, like, waste your item here, your uh, full restore, let's see if I can just barely not KO. Alright, so you're in, um, like, HP, uh, recovery range. Like, item, recovery item range. Yeah. You're probably gonna use one of those. Um, I'm gonna use Leaf Blade, and that will have enough power behind it to, uh, to kill the Crocodile. Let's see. <clears throat> If I was smart, I would have uh, moved the leftovers over to um, Superior also, but apparently I wasn't smart enough to do that. Anyway, critical hit, I doubt it mattered. And Crocodile is dead. Gained a lot of experience from that. Nido King is up next. Um, hmm. Hmm. I'm a plus one, if I can score another critical hit, I think Nido King is dead. It didn't do all that much when I used Leaf Blade the last time. The last battle, and I kind of took a, sl a, a nice beam rather, not a sludge wave, and it wasn't good. But live? No. Oh well, that's too bad. Um, I know Pancreas can outspeed Nido King though, and I have like three more levels compared to the last battle, so I'm going to go and use a wing attack, and this will finish off the Nido King. All right, so we both have three Pokemon left now. Uh, Nido King went down, gained experience, gained a lot of experience. Excadrill is up next. Excadrill. Excadrill. I'm gonna bring in my rib. Um, I know that you have Earthquake and that's gonna do a ton of damage to a fire type, but I also have the Intimidate ability. You don't have the Sandstorm up, um, so you don't have that uh, Sand Rush, Sand Force, whatever ability that is. And I can hit you with a Flamethrower, which should do a lot of damage. Ooh, I'm faster anyway. Alright, let's hope that KOs. Um, you don't have Sturdy or anything, you don't have a Pokemon. You don't have a Focus Ash, as I was saying. Let's see if I can live this anyway. And I do not. It is super effective. Rib goes down. Um, it's right there. I don't have anything super effective to hit this thing with, but you're faster, so uh, you're going to finish it off. All right. Cut. Just, yeah, I didn't think you had another healing item, and you do not, apparently. A critical hit, as if it mattered. Take the X control down. Uh, Pancreas is doing so far most of the killing in this battle. It's kind of hilarious. Anyway, Claydol. Uh, I can just stay in here, because I have a, uh, I have cut. Oh, I have extras also, which is the same type of attack bonus, it's slightly stronger. Uh, anyway, forgot about that. Oh, come on, how come everything just barely isn't killing? This is not funny anymore. Oh my god. I know Claydol isn't known for its special attack, but that is ridiculous. I was really expecting it to do at least more damage than that, but Claydol went down. Alright. Have not even used the Pokemon who I had uh, fighting in like the trainer battles in this gym so far. Uh, we'll see how that plays out. Seismitoad is up next. Um, let's see, cut. I remember you having a Rindo Barry, which will nerf the, uh, the damage taken from a grass type move. But it's still super effective. I think it's still doing more damage than a wing attack would. Wow, that almost killed it. Alright, Hydro Pump is hitting. 
Um, that will take Scyther down, but I don't really care because Scyther did a lot of heavy lifting in this battle. And now, it doesn't matter, I don't think even with a critical hit, you're going to be able to uh, trace a water absorb. I don't think you're going to be able to um, take a, uh, an ankle down. Okay, I'm faster anyway. Oh, that's right. Uh, Seismitoda's. I was seem to remember Seismitoda speeding Galay before, but now that I think about that again, I don't know if that's true. Anyway, Clay, thank you for the money because you took a lot of mine earlier. All right, take this. This is a badge. I'm trying to think of what a TM is going to give me. I want to say it's bulldoze in the vanilla games, but I don't remember exactly. I think he's going to give me bulldoze. I don't remember any of his Pokemon actually having it, but. TM26 Earthquake. Alright, well, that's a good move. I don't know if anyone I have can learn it, but it's still a good move. Now, come this away. And this is going to be a shortcut back to the beginning. And spontaneously take the place of the other elevator. Uh, we've got to go to the Pokemon World Tournament now, don't we? Pretty sure that's where I have to go next. Uh, in any case, I'm going to make a stop at the Pokemon Center. Or I'm going to be talking to this idiot. Yes, that's nice. Pokeballs. Yeah, this is some idiot who's just like following me around or something. I don't know. Dialects and Clay and... Like, Mr. Sir. That's who he reminds me of, Mr. Sir. Actually, any Texas stereotype, but still. For those of you who have read the book of Holes. Uh, I know I've talked about Holes briefly like this on uh, recording before, but... It's a good book. I should be faster than a Seismitoad because this is not the fastest Pokemon ever. Um, and if I can get... Okay, so I'm using Psychic. Like, okay, I'm going faster. If I can get a critical hit, I think Seismitoad is dead. I don't know if he's going to be... Yeah, that's unfortunate. Although it's not going to be unfortunate that you're... Most... Crap. Uh, Flamethrower. You're faster than me. Oh, well, that's a shame. Take two. Nido King. Am I faster than a Nido King? I hope I'm faster than a Nido King. No guarantees though. Now you're using Earthquake. All right. Well, uh, goodbye, Ankle. Leaf Blade. That should be enough to take it down. Because Nido King is not the most defensive of Pokemon. Come on. Oh, are you serious? You have to be joking me. You have to be joking me. 